morning. It's the 29th of uh, November 2021. Just up at Thriber Country Park. Beautiful place this. I spend a lot of time here. Sadly, I don't spend a lot of money in that cafe, but it is actually closed for two weeks for essential maintenance. So it's all shut up. So I'm not sure essential maintenance is going off. It's run by Rotherham Council, and sadly they're running into a flower. Don't blame none of the staff here. Now the manager, Kevin, quite well, a lovely lad from a lovely family. Uh, but his hands are tied, I believe. But look at this. A sign here. Danger, deep water, no swimming. And then stay opposite here. Look at this. Swim your swim. Open water coaching for your swim. Saturdays 2 till 4. Wednesdays 6 till 8. So I contradict you is that. I'll have a look around so we can see any essential maintenance going off. And here we've got the toilets. Due to continue the spread of COVID-19 coronavirus, please it is social distancing. Wash your hands regularly. Wash your hands more often. Loads about coronavirus. I'll just check for these are the toilets. I've seen worse. No sanitizer in there. Could do a lick of paint or as you call it, essential maintenance. Have a quick look at oh, sanitizer. None in there. Have a quick look at the ladies while there's nobody about. Just check for sanitizer, none in there. None in there. So in the middle of a pan pandemic, we've got no sanitizer. All the range you are saying like this is a, a cash cow. Council's cash cow. In here they've got a soft play area. Uh, what's been shut pre-pandemic. Pre-pandemic, you've only been allowed to go in there for a drink and take it out. No, not allowed to sit in out like that. Due to COVID regulations, and you can sit in any other cafe in England, but not here, not in this one. I'll have a wander across, see if I can see any essential maintenance going off. It's normally a very busy place, this. Thriver Country Park, Lakeside Cafe, Campsite and Fly Fishery, that's a joke, they put no out in here for three years. No money they keep telling us. Uh, car park. There's only a few people here yesterday were absolutely even. Not sure how much it is to park, but you have to pay, I'm afraid. The same as anyway. Not sure where money goes. Anyway, we've got coming across now to Lakeside Cafe. This is another one what's shut for essential maintenance. Uh, just have a look, see if we can see any maintenance. None at the moment. Oh, there's a sign there. Upside down. I wonder if, I'll come back at the end of two weeks and see if there's any difference. Pretty filthy building it's saying. It's an old building, mind. Uh, no, there's no sign essential maintenance. That's another coffee, another cafe you're not being allowed to sit in. Since pandemic, and after restrictions were lifted, it didn't apply to this. They have their own restrictions for whatever reason. This is a beautiful thing, a work of art. Here, what they're doing, they're building some sort of seat. And believe it or not, it's looking well, but I'll just show you. To be fair, and I, I tell no lies here, they've been on with that three years. No, still, still no way near completion. From there, we've got a kids' playground. It's a, it's a big concrete pipe. A few pieces of wood. A few ropes. And that's it. Probably the shittiest playground I've ever seen. Hence, there's no kids on it. Never is. It's crap. If you're pushing somebody around in a wheelchair, I'm not sure which way I'd advise you to go, but if you're coming down here, you'll need some strong arms because look at this. And some good boots because it's slippy. 
Now there you go. Get a better gist there. You know, if you're well strong, man to push some of the bale in a wheelchair. Then when you get to the top of that, you've got this one. It's firm underfoot because it's been icy, so you can imagine when this starts, it'll be sludgy. Any money they have got, I would recommend they spend it on a path. Uh, just have a quick look around here. In fact, we'll take you to bird hide. That should be fun. Got a lovely bird hide. Here we go. Check this out. It's a nice place to watch your birds here. I mean, last uh, 10 times I've been down here, it's been, it's been locked. Uh, I don't think you would see to have it open. I can see from now, it's locked again, look. So, You'll tell me how you're supposed to get in there. Who opens it? Rangers, there's none of them about. Essential workforce, essential maintenance staff, there's none of them about. And that's as much as I can. I will come back in a couple of weeks and show you what they've done, because some interested me saying. Just one last thing. There's a little bin here, look. If you have any litter, I suggest you put it in there because the next time you come to a litter bin is about almost a mile that way. So when people complain about litter, get some bins out. I'm sure I could run it better myself. I'll just talk to you about fishing a bit. It's a bit lovely fly fishery. Like I said, they put no out in for probably four or five years. And I mean, I've had a way with managers, no talk going in. It is open for pike fishing. Got restrictions on where you can fish, like that you can fish a third at water, or the two thirds are out of bounds. So, hence the reason there's really not much of an uptick in pike tickets, even though they're only 65 quid. Anyway, that's my little review of the cash cow. I will be back. <laughs>